Hi dear students, this video I want to discuss a particular question. How to handle that particular question for board exam? The same question how to approach for objective exam. So those type of questions I am going to deal one by one. Let us have a discussion. The first question. Find the area of the region in the first quadrant enclosed by x axis the line x is equal to root 3y and the circle x square plus y square is equal to 2 square so you know how to draw this circle x square plus y square is equal to 2 square represent a circle with the center 0 comma 0 radius is equal to 2 so this is a circle with the center 0 comma 0 radius is equal to 2 next you know how to draw the line x is equal to root 3y which is a straight line y is equal to mx form a straight line passing through origin lies in first quadrant and third quadrant right so the line x is equal to root 3y this is the line x is equal to root 3y now he is asking in the question find the area of the region bounded by the circle the line with the x axis in first quadrant that means this shaded area we have to find out the area of this shaded portion we have to find out how to find out that portion for that first of all we have to find out where the circle and the line are intersecting so this is the given circle equation that we can write in this way this is the given line equation that we can write in this way. Solve these two equations. We are getting the intersection point as root 3 comma 1. This is the point of intersection of a line and a circle. Now, from this point, draw a line perpendicularly onto the x-axis. This is that particular point. Let us say this particular point is root 3 comma 0. Right? So, we have to find out this area. Plus this area we have to find out. So the required area is this is the shaded portion area we have to find out. In this shaded portion x values are changing from 0 to root 3 the line. That's why 0 to root 3 the line. Again in this shaded portion x values are changing from root 3 to 2 a circle. The circle equation is y is equal to root of 2 square minus x square dx. Now its integration, x integration is x square by 2, upper limit minus lower limit we have to substitute. Here root of a square minus x square formula is x by 2 into root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse x by a. So apply the limit. So upper limit minus lower limit. That simplification we got the answer as pi by 3. Let's have a discussion the same question how to do in object to exam. For that what we have to know? You have to know the area of a sector. Sector area is equals to r square theta divided by 2. That is the area of a sector. Lr by 2 is also the area of a sector. Lr by 2 that L is nothing but R theta. That's why R square theta divided by 2 is the area of a sector. Now the line equation is Y is equal to 1 by root 3 into X. Whose slope is equal to 1 by root 3. Slope is 1 by root 3 means tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3. So theta is equal to pi by 6. That's why this inclination we got pi by 6. Now we know the radius of the circle is equal to 2 and this angle is equal to pi by 6. So the area of this sector is given by r square theta by 2. r square theta divided by 2. So that is the reason we are getting pi by 3 as the answer. Like that we can proceed in object to exams. Okay. Thank you.